All right, so we're back. Wow, okay, I haven't done one of these in a while. Well, actually, that's not true. I did a, I did this particular RPG Maker uh, last night, and it turned out the code wasn't working, so I'm very pleased to say that I fixed it, and it's all ready and perfect to go. I can't wait to show you. So this tutorial is new and I guess will be separate from my main tutorials for RPG Maker 2003. But this tutorial is for RPG, RPG Maker XP and it's for uh, creating a uh, arrow trap uh, shot in uh, RPG Maker. Now, so what we're going to begin with, I guess, is... Uh, how the whole function works. Sorry, it's, it's been a long time. It's going to take me a while to get back into my groove and, uh, uh, you know, but anyways, so I guess, yeah, you can see this. All right, let's begin. So RPG Maker XP uh, Arrow Trap Tutorial. So this map is for my new game and it's about uh, the Island Uphold, but it's from the previous. Uh, this is supposed to be the prequel to Island Uphold. It's called Woodland Camper. And in this particular map, uh, what, what's going to happen is these are sort of arrow um, bunker shots or whatever. And you can see the arrow down here. You can look at my mouse. So... Uh, it's going to fire across the screen and go through everything and then reset again to fire again. Now this could happen from, you know, stepping on a trap or, uh, you know, the button here is supposed to stop them all from, from uh, firing. Like they're already going to be firing when you walk in, but perhaps you walk on a trap and then it fires across the screen and then comes back once it's finished firing. And I had a really, really difficult time uh, trying to figure this out. I tried solving it uh, yesterday and I thought I'd solved it until I realized that the arrow froze or the, the character froze and it wasn't moving and I had to cancel the original video, which I was, I was upset about because I want to show you it right the first time. So let's uh, hit play and see what this is all about. So I'm going to pull up the, the game, uh, Woodland Camper. This will be part of my new RPG Maker uh, series. All right, so I hit continue. And there you go. There's the arrow that fires across. And it fires from the bottom again. So let's go check out what's going on at the bottom. So once it's reached the end, it's going to fire out of that uh, cannon to the end. And let's watch the arrow as it reaches the end of the screen. Uh, just give me one minute. So it's reached the end and it's just going to disappear. So reach the end, disappear. And if you get hit by the arrow, it's going to appear game over. Now the trick was having the arrow come back and not make it a game over. So there's the arrow going back. And it's going to hit me, and then I'm going to die. Perfect. Okay. So let's break down the code and show you how to make that arrow trap. Uh, I, I, was hope, I was hoping you could hear me over the, the music. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take up too much sound. But uh, So we looked at the arrow hitting to the end, and when it comes back, and that's the sneaky part, not having it either... Uh, give you game over or um, have your character freeze. So let's click on the code for a minute and be, begin. So you have to make uh, two variables and that's your player, who, where your character is at and when the arrow is not there. So why don't you, uh, I guess, copy out this code um, in RPG Maker XP. You wanna make sure you have the graphics selected a uh, small, 10, excuse me, I just picked a, a regular graphic and I hit okay. 
Um, from there, you want to make sure the direction is fixed. It's through. And it's always on top. You want the event to touch you rather than you to touch the event because the event's just going to be moving uh, all the time. Uh, the the uh, movement route is always going to be custom and not approach random or fixed because that would make the arrow go all over the place or approach would be like a heat seeking uh, <laughs> heat seeking missile <laughs> so just keep it on custom uh, i made the speed at its fastest um just just to i guess beta test it but it doesn't have to go that fast you can uh change these to your liking now what's important is uh two things which is the custom move route and uh, the code. So let's let's just do the move route first. So you're going to want to count the amount of spaces on the tile. So I have 29 spaces to the end, and you can experiment with this. And 29 spaces back. So I make sure that the graphic is present. So I do change graphic. Make sure it's the right graphic. Click OK. Make sure that the item is through. And then it's going to move up from the beginning location. So once it's gone through and moved all the way up, and here's where it get, gets tricky, is you change the graphic to none, or not that tricky, and then you move it all the way down uh, while no one notices it being moved all the way down. You can also uh, hit uh, wait if you want it to wait before it fires again. Totally up to you, or have it wait uh, here um, uh, to, just for the, the change up. You can certainly make the arrow go faster or slower depending on the change of the speed or the frequency that you want to add in between. Completely up to you. Um, but it's important that you uh, write out how, how many spaces the arrow is moving up before it disappears and how many spaces it comes back down to its original location or wherever you want it to go. And you hit OK. Now um, we're going to want to define the character's location through a variable. So to do that you're going to want to insert a control variable here and uh, name uh, just it it's as character and you're going to want to go to uh, that variable being the player's X location on the X grid and the same thing for the Y grid so that it's part of both uh, variables so it's a single location. And you're going to want to do the same with uh, the arrow that is under the event name. So that's one important thing is you're going to have to make uh, as many arrow variables as you can or or what, whatever traps and make sure that they're specific to uh, that that uh, variable here. So it's ID event number five, ID event number five. So they, they have to match up to a specific one and label it your X and Y. So you hit OK. We got those. Now this this is what took forever. I was I was experimenting for so long. It must is, I think it took me about like ten hours to figure this out. But that's that's the fun part of, of beta testing. Okay, so you're gonna want to loop this um, the same way that this uh, loops. It needs to repeat action and ignore if cannot move, of course, because you want it to repeat. So that that move route is in a loop too. Um, but you're gonna want to create the conditional branch in a loop as well. So I said that if this event is facing up or towards you as it's coming at you, you're going to get a game over. But if the um, character is touching the arrow at any other point in time, i.e. if it's behind the arrow or you're behind it, you're going to break the loop. And you can find that in a break loop right here. So... Uh, Make sure that this is also not clicked, no set handling. And uh, for the top one, also say, or, or have a set handle, yes. Um, uh, and the arrow must be facing up so that there is a else or else. And then you just repeat that. Um, if this wasn't there, what would happen is the arrow and the character would get stuck 
and it wouldn't be able to go through because it's checking to see what would happen if that was the case and nothing would happen. But in this case, it breaks the loop, which means that it's going to go through, the direction is going to be fixed, and we can just keep going. So very, very sneaky. And I, I'm extremely proud to have created this uh, arrow trap. It reminds me of uh, the Indiana Jones, where uh, the where Indy's walking through the the maze and the the he steps on a plate and they they fire across the room or that kind of thing. So that's that's what this is for. I couldn't find an arrow trap online, um, so I just had to you know experiment and experiment. But uh, it came through so. Yeah, uh, I'll just let it go from there. So I'll wrap this up and say see ya till the next one for RPG Maker XP. Uh, it'll just be, I guess, a whole bunch of uh, random uh, ones as, as they pop up. But uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. And uh, yeah, get making those uh, cool uh, arrow traps or, or whatnot. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace out. Bye.